Alright, this is my version of the Chrome Regenerator, more or less. So it's using just a little toy motor at 9 volts DC coming in here. I have for the power supply, conveniently. And the output comes in at over 120 volts, and it lights the regular light. Now on the half cycle, I have a rectifier here, which goes to this 1UF giant microwave capacitor, and this dumps the half charge, which is like 80 some volts, into this capacitor here instantly, like within two seconds. This is very, very fast, and the motor is only running at like 2%. It's very, very minimal. Just enough to get that 200 volts. Now what happens is, I've got what I call here the Tesla switch. Basically, as Tesla does, this is time special with a timer circuit in here and basically it it varies the pulsing of this capacitor which charges into this battery here so it's getting the high voltage zero current pulse about twenty times a second into this battery coming in at like eighty volts so right now I got the voltmeter I'll show you the volt from the battery this is a dead battery completely dead that I'm charging and this is the radiant negative energy. You can't normally charge batteries like this. I'm just gotta get my voltmeter here. So to recap, voltage in at nine volts on a regular pulse width modulator on the DC motor. And this is at set to basically 1%, in my version of the Chromie generator and we get like just a little spin gives us 120 output on the AC side and I use the half cycle to so it's not the full so it doesn't drain the you know it doesn't take the load down so that's like 80 volts going into the capacitor instantly on the 1UF microwave capacitor this is the Tesla switch which is a pulsing about 20 times a second into the battery I could adjust the variance and uh, this is the Tesla switch and by doing that it doesn't load the system down at all it's like not even doing anything so I'm gonna try and show you the voltage here I have a hard time holding the camera and doing the volt all alone here but I will try this is the battery here see it seems like one always wants to go in before the other okay so you see here 1.342 then 1.34 this is how fast it's charging and this is the dump from the capacitor is at 80 some volts the Tesla switch charging the battery now this is a very interesting process because I'm able to charge non rechargeable batteries no problem with the negative radiant energy spike because it's zero current basically it's a high voltage thing pulsed so the battery actually runs cold and here's the capacitor I'll show you the voltage of that okay carefully I'm gonna go to the capacitor here if I can and you will see that I'm not joking about the 80 some volts see that I got the poles reversed there but there it is minus 85.4 and she ain't going down even though we're pulsing here that's the Tesla switch is very sharp spike very sharp spike and it doesn't hurt the chromie generator whatsoever it's just pouring this and back to the battery here not holding it right okay 1.373 as we talk we got some charge 1.374 and let's remember this thing is running at like 10 percent it's set basically to 1 out of 10 for the speed of the motor here it's just idling and the battery is just loving it loving it